So uh, this is not the first time the, your company is uh, in uh, that exhibition, and uh, your offer is very straightforward. You have one of the best in the world, uh, uh, air dependent uh, propulsed uh, submarines, and what is uh, uh, what is it something new for, for 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 in your offer for Poland this year? Well. This time we have not offered the submarines so far. Mm -hmm. um, the discussion is going on and on. Um, but uh, what we have released now was the offer for the surface vessels. Mm -hmm. So that's. So uh, Thyssen Group and Blo Th Thyssen Group is right now also trying to uh, play the game with this uh, surface uh, co surface combatants in, uh, for the Polish Air Navy. Our product portfolio besides submarines is also having inside corvettes, frigates, everything. Supply ships we don't do. We have not okay. participated in the tanker uh, request. And so generally everything. Generally everything that is uh, in navy sites. Yes. Everything what is needed by the Polish Navy for in the uh, in the process of the reconstruction and the revival and the just just modernizing. I very much hope so. <laughs> I see. And um, let's say that uh, finally we will have uh, something like the approach, final approach to the Orca program. It means submarines. Yes. What is your clear message for the decision makers in Poland uh, for uh, submarines which are desperately need by some or part of Polish, let's say, uh, submariners? Well, the message that we're going to send, or which we try to send, is that we uh, definitely believe in our own products. You mentioned already the AIP, but we also, besides of the technology and the operational capabilities that most of the NATO navies that are operating conventional submarines are acknowledging, um, think that we have the most competitive, also commercial offer on the table. Mm -hmm. My question is that, uh, you know, that uh, 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 this is demand and it was in pa precisely demand by the Polish Navy to have a submarine with the air independent propulsion, which is absolutely proven, absolutely. And uh, with the uh, armet, with the, uh, let's say, cruise missiles or something like uh, at least missiles. Yes. How are you going to cope with that? We have integrated in several submarines already missile capability. Mm -hmm. The definition of a cruise missile is a little bit awkward to say so. It's um, very broad. It's broad. Um, we have had discussions with lots of customers on mm -hmm. uh, cruise missile technology. What about the uh, German Navy? The German Navy um, is... They are, this is what... Please explain that yeah, because sure, it's, sure. of course you are not from the German Navy. No. But please explain us that it, we observe evolution of uh, some approaches to uh, German Navy approaches to the uh, involving the missiles um, and the uh, submarines weaponry. Yeah, I cannot comment on on uh, operational needs of the German Navy. Um, it's also uh, the the weapon payload of a specific customer is not something I can comment on, even if we have integrated it. Um, we see lots of customers moving in the direction in of, that direction of uh, in the missiles and missile or the land attack capability that's yeah. something land that attack capability yes. and this is what we have heard that this uh, German Navy is going to establish something like a new type of uh, uh, you do remember polyfem yes. technology so uh, this is a fiber optic uh, yes. quite that um, was fiber optic still wide. is still is it's an ongoing development program and yeah and this type of uh, missile it seems that it is uh, under consideration by the german navy to be equipped uh, with uh, let's say the u.s submarines how are you going to cover it is that necessary to prolong a little bit or make some changes in the design of we have um followed on the program of Polyfem as the leader of the program together with the German missile company Deal mm -hmm. and we are now able to uh, finalize the development it's now called IDAS missile mm -hmm. interactive defense uh, missile system where we um, want to equip submarines with it's always hard to find the first customer therefore we strongly lobby towards the German Navy to get it on board 
They're currently evaluating the stands there, but we have a very good feeling that we will be able to finalize that development within the next few years mm -hmm. and get it on board. But it's not a cruise missile, it's a smaller um, sized there missile. There are some rumors or even uh, precise information about that you are going to offer, let's say, a proven uh, technology, proven submarine technology, with equipped with the uh, vertical launched, um, let's say, uh, fiber optic guided uh, uh, land attack missiles. The, the IDAS is a uh, fiber optic guided missile system which is uh, vertically launched. Uh, launched. So um, we get four of them inside one normal sized torpedo tube. Um, that's that's the way we see for launching missiles. Um, having oh, that outside, sorry, horizontally launched. So horizontally. in the normal normal torpedo tube. We also evaluate tubes of a different type for vertical, but not necessarily equipped to to the um, missiles. It's also possible to release mines out of that or have special uh, forces released out of that. It's a big tube that is integrated into the sub. So how long are you going? Uh, how long does it take to to have that, that technology mature? I mean, vertical launch and uh, and the missiles for your submarines. It's a bit the the uh, question of of where do we start? I mean, the the IDAS missile system as it is, we can judge very easily. Okay. So that's that's on the roadblocks we are finalizing now. What we are lacking is the the last bit of funding, I guess, that we will get that ready in the next two to three years. Okay. Um, if we talk about the big tubes, then it's more on the missile manufacturer side, where we currently lack information. It's something that normally is procured on the government-to-government -government organizations, and um, where we as an industry just can integrate what the government provides us with. Okay. And uh, this is very important issue for the Polish program, I mean, to have those submarines equipped with the missiles. Former go Polish government separated, just for a moment, uh, two programs, submarines from the missile. Yes. In my opinion, it was a mistake, and I think uh, we don't know yet in Poland whether the new government uh, uh, will uh, group together those two demands, but I think they will. And if so, your offer is very, would be very clear. That is your proven technology plus the new type of missiles. Till that moment, till that moment, uh, you were not offering the sub good submarines with good technology, Siemens uh, uh, propulsion system, uh, but without missiles. Right now, you are entering the new, let's say, new new field of the and the new part of the market. Yes, we don't really are in the business of, of selling missiles and we, yes, sti we, we still believe that it is easily feasible to um, procure missiles or let's say weapons because that's also valid for torpedoes or mines separately from the platform itself. Mm -hmm. The interface is very easy, it's known to us and it's from an economic point of view it's not necessary to procure um, the weapons as early as the platform. We have a very long developmental period. Uh, the production period for the boats is rather long compared to a missile. So um, we usually think that it's a smart approach to procure both things separately, mm -hmm. but to um, enforce us or whoever is providing the platforms to integrate what is procured yeah, separately. Yeah, but it's much more difficult if you... If you you buy separate uh, platform and then integrate with the separate separate uh, uh, missiles. In my opinion, in my opinion. Why? Well, because uh, um, uh, you are, you you are entering into the grouping specific specifically. It means French missile with the French uh, with the French boat, and uh, it seems uh, uh, okay. German boat with it is a uh, big interrogation with what type of missile. Yeah. Till that moment, yes. there were the tomahawks. For possible, time. possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right now, there are the there are the new types of missiles, or something uh, which uh, could be uh, could be loaded into the torpedo tubes. But uh, uh, your submarines are excellently engineered, but they are too small to have uh, in the nose big battery of the missiles right now. 
too small is always relative. Um, you want too small is relative. Yeah, you want to operate a submarine for a certain purpose, um, and you want to operate in an area which we deem to know very good, which is the Baltic Sea. Mm -hmm. Um, and size does matter for a submarine. Absolutely. The smaller it is, Absolutely. the better it is. But the better equipment of the missiles. That might be for, for a specific purpose, sure. And we're going to do our utmost to integrate it. But we need to have, and that's a big differentiator for us, mm -hmm. we need to have access to the technology. And I think it's not smart enough to simply buy the bigger product because something else comes with it. Um, so that's something where the government can act very strong because they can make sure that it's available for everyone. Um, and that's something that I do not expect, okay, but that's something let's, that... Uh, start to speculate. <laughs> you have uh, you, you've mentioned that uh, your offer is also concentrated on the leasing, leasing, uh, leasing uh, submarine. It was initially some uh, information that, that you are going to offer uh, older... Uh, a former Bunde, Bundesmarine or Deutsche Marine uh, boats for yeah. leasing, for lease in the beginning. Then something like a new. Is that so? Or it's um, we have to split there. It's, it's a little bit different than the French. Um, we have the private industry and we have our government doing their own thing and um, in, in, in France it's always getting mixed up a little bit absolutely so for us we have not offered a leasing submarine um, I heard that there was something on the blocks from our government to the Polish government that's correct um, which I very much welcome as the industry but I cannot really generally offer the new submarines I guess so yes absolutely new submarines for uh, not for the hiring but for for buying Yes, it's okay. uh, industry cannot operate uh, war. Okay, vessels. let's speculate once more again. Uh, so, the uh, offer is co co was covered uh, on uh, uh, peculiar companies which could cooperate with you if uh, such uh, your offer will be uh, um, will be uh, very well received by the Polish government. I mean, it is necessary to have a Polish partner in. Uh, yes. In Shipyard industry. Um, we have a local build strategy to build it inside Poland. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, we have also sent out as we kind of getting expert in that. Um, send out our um, engineers to talk to, to Polish companies, and it's not just you two, can two or specify three. Which, which companies. Uh, we talk to CTM. We talk to uh, honestly, yeah. we talk to a lot of companies. But generally, it's, it's a long, long focus, list. Generally, concentrated on naval technologies. Yes, sure. We we need to Shipyard? have. Shipyard also, we, but I mean now now we're getting a little bit mixed up on surface and subsurface okay. because we've been visiting over the last few years. What all about the Remontova? We also been to Remontova, been talking to them, not on the sub, for example. Um, Combatant surface, sur surface combatants as well. Yes, for sure. I mean we've been talking to to, uh, I would guess, let's say twenty shipyards or companies close to being a shipyard inside Poland. Um, we've been evaluating lots of them. Um, we also discussed lots of things with them, and um, not all of them were really willing to to enter this field of business because it's it's very different from doing it's commercial very ships. It's very difficult business. It's a difficult. Some is it's a, a difficult. It's a very long-term business. Piece of bread. I would say. <laughs> yes, a hard one. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, and uh, one once more again, uh, returning to the cooperation. And uh, it is uh, something like, because uh, your competitors sometimes mention about investing in Poland. Yes. About buying piece of shares, parts of shares from the shipyard companies and so on. Is that also your tactics in Poland? Look, I don't uh, like to commit myself to buy something and put it into the program which I sell to the exact customer that I'm buying something off that's mixing up things. What I would like to offer is or get into is a process where we are able to see what the the hard requirements will be and then we will find a solution to most economically fulfill these wishes and um, we have done evaluations on a technical level we can build the subs in Poland how and what the state decides upon who shall own the shipyard that's that's the second part of the story 
Sometimes uh, your competitors mentioned that uh, it's very uh, uh, expensive and very, let's say, difficult to or organize, uh, let's say, uh, facilities to or uh, to service your submarines uh, because that needs a produ production of the hydrogen and it needs a lot of maintenance during the, uh, let's say, reshuffling and the, during the rechanging. Uh, uh, recharging uh, a Siemens propulsion system. Yeah, that's um, a nice rumor. Um, basically, we use industrialized hydrogen, which is available in Europe all over the places. We, we know some remote areas in Africa and so on where we don't get enough quantity of such things. But there's a refueling concept even for these remote harbors, um, which the German Navy has enforced us to propose. So whenever a submarine is traveling to these remote areas or would travel to these remote areas has not happened so far um, we have guaranteed that we can supply the sub there with the hydrogen with the hydrogen oxygen i mean every competitor is using oxygen on board yes of course. um there's a mobile uh refilling station like a mobile tank station for this okay. so this is not extensively expensive no okay thank you very much and uh, well I wish you all great uh, uh, offers for Polish uh, for Polish Navy and Thank for Polish much. industry. Thank, Thank you very you. much.